Design and Build 2014. Sampson and I am the captain of BHSE Environmental Club. We would like to present you with a skit representing how our system works. Hi Mr. Farmer, what you doing? Something fast. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hi Mr. Farmer, what you doing? Oh, sorry. Hey, what you doing? Fishy friend. Hi, Fishy. She lives in me and she swims in me. She even poops in me too. Ew. I know. She swims in me all day long. And then I flow through the pipes all the way over to my filter friend. Hi, filter friend. And she cleans me. Now I have no poop in me anymore. <laughs> that tickles. And then her friend, the pump, who's big and strong and powerful. Hi, pump. <laughs> she pushes me all the way over to my plant friend's hair plant for And I make her grow big and strong. Mm. So then farmers like you could grow her and lay her. And we eat her. Yay! And then I go all the way back to my fishy friends. Now you see how I just recycle and circle and go round and round and round. Imagine how many of me could save. Imagine how many friends and family I'll have. And if you just use aquaponics. Aquaponics, yay! You see, when you use soil, all my family and friends got that big pond in the sky. And then I'm lonely. Oh. Do you want me to be lonely? No. Then save me. I save will. my friends and my family too. I will. So use aquaponics. Yes. Aquaponics. 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 <laughs> come, come. I happen to have some royalty living in me. This is Miss Nitrate. Good morning, everyone. I have recently been crowned Nutrient of the Year, and I would like to thank my parents, Nitrite, and my fish waste father, Munia, because without them, I would never be here to make these plants grow big and strong for everyone to enjoy. Thank you. Notice Miss Nitrate didn't even thank me for housing her for all these years. I'm grateful royalty. Tuss, 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 tuss. Now, if you use aquaponics, then you could save so much water. That's true. You can make this world a better place just by not planting in soil anymore. That's awesome. Isn't that great? Yeah. So you're going to use aquaponics and you're going to save water so that you could rear fish and plants. And plants. Fish and plants. Fish and plants. And make money. Yes. Yes? Yes. Great. Now, we chose the agricultural sector because we recognized that it could be beneficial to the students in our school due to the fact that they do agriculture as a subject and also that it could benefit society because agriculture wastes 70% of the water that is used globally. So we chose the agricultural sector because in research we realized that if we do an aquaponic system we would save 90% of the water that is used in conventional farming. Aquaponics is the combination of growing plants without the use of soil and the rearing of fish. Our project involved a lot of brainstorming, problem solving skills and critical thinking. But in the end we were able to design and build the system that recirculates water as well as being aesthetically pleasing and creating a stress-free environment in school. The project was innovative in doing the project. Did you estimate how much water you would have saved if you had done it in a conventional way? How much was the water reduction? So to, in order to see how much water we saved, we set up the structure so that we can do an experiment and we compared plants growing in soil to the plants growing in the hydroponics. And to calculate how much water we saved, for a two week period, first thing we did, we measured the level of the water in the fish tanks. And then throughout the two week period, we measured how much water we used to water the plants and how much water we used to keep the level of the tank 
at the specific height you needed to function properly. And in the end, we saw that for the two weeks, we used 39 liters of water to water the plants in the soil and 11 liters of water to keep the tank at its level. Therefore, in percentage, we saved about 28% of water over that two-week period. I want to know, after the competition is over, do you intend to keep your system going and what improvements you intend to make to your system to continue having it? Um, due to the fact that we are all Form 5 students and we do leave the school next year, um, the environmental club was who entered the competition, so we plan to pass down the project to the upcoming forms. And as the project goes on or continues, we have recognized, even from the beginning, we recognized that there were adjustments that needed to be made to make the project run efficiently. So we don't want to say that the, pro the project is perfect now because in future there could be instances where things may go wrong and things will need to be altered. But in terms of upkeeping the project, the future environmental club and most of the school body is on board with keeping and maintaining the project and keeping it sustainable and functioning properly. Um, the project focused a lot on agriculture, because that is the, the core function, the base of the, the project. And as a result, you will have some environmental impacts with water conservation, right? Um, what are some of the social benefits of the project? The social benefits of the project the students, student body, teachers, everyone who comes to our school, they learn more about the project, learning to conserve water. Every day we get more and more questions about this project. What is it doing? Well, how can we help to save water or help to sustain the project? We also let the um, cafeteria have the food, the plants that we grew, so it can be used in the cafeteria, salads, season the chicken and stuff like that and <laughs> well if the fish got big enough we would sell them and let them use it to feed us.